Welcome to the 1099 ETC program. This tutorial covers the pair setup in AMS Payroll. The pair setup includes general information, preferences, user defined fields, state, local, check, maker, and ACA settings. From the main menu, select AMS Payroll. First, you need to create a folder where the pair's data will be saved. The folder for that pair is created in the work directory. The folder name should be something that will identify the pair. The folder name will then be listed on the screen. The base pair is used to set up default pair information, that is, information that will be the same for all new pairs. Do not enter employee or form data in the base pair. Click Create New Pair. Enter a pair directory name. The example creates a folder in the work directory called ABC Payroll. Click OK. Click Yes to create the pairs directory. The folder name will be listed on the Select Pair screen. When selected, any data entered will be saved to this pairs folder. Highlight the pair and click OK. The first time a new pair is accessed, Information that is in the base pair or another pair can be copied to the new pair. For the purposes of the tutorial, select No and click OK. Enter or select the primary payroll state information for this pair. Once the data is entered, click OK. This is the main menu for AMS payroll. It contains a variety of information, such as the working drive in directory the current pair, the payroll year, the current printer mode, and the current printer. Click Pair to continue. Select Pair Edit. The general screen displays by default when Pair Edit is selected. First enter the pair's name, doing business as name, street address and city state and zip. If blank. Enter the federal identification number and the name control. The name control is normally the first four letters of the pair's name, and is used on the 941 and 943 forms. See the pre-printed IRS forms for the actual name control. The pay rate factor section is used to calculate the gross pay for hourly employees. All factors are entered as decimal values. In most cases, the overtime factor is time and a half. So the factor will be entered as 1.5. Enter the factors for the fields to calculate on the paychecks. If the factor is zero, the field will not show up on the checks. Now the federal depositor information needs to be set up. Select the payer type, 941, 942, 943 or 944. Select the depositor type. Monthly, semi weekly, or neither. Enter alternate state if needed. Please refer to the health files for more information. And select the employer kind, 501c, state or local, state or local 501c, federal government or none apply. The EFTPS information and the PDF encryption sections are optional. The EFTPS information section is used to enter the EFTPS PIN and phone number for the client letter instructions. This is for instruction purposes only. The program does not make the EFTPS tax payments. The PDF encryption section is used to password protect a PDF file that is created in the program. Either the payer's FEIN, the signer's social security number, last four digits only, or some other value entered will be used to encrypt the file. Enter the information, if applicable. Next, enter the document or signer information. The signer information prompt will display when printing forms. If you do not want it to display, check the suppress signer info box. Enter the e-file pin if needed. If an e-file pin is needed, click request pin. This will submit the payer information, via the third-party services, to the IRS. If the IRS approves the PIN request, they will mail the approval to the payer's address. Once that payer receives the approval letter, the e-file PIN will need to be entered on this screen, 
prior to e-filing the 940 family of forms. When the payer's data is entered, select Preferences. Preferences enable certain settings for the current pair. To enable, check the box, or highlight the preference and hit the spacebar. For the purposes of this tutorial, we are going to select some common preferences. For an explanation of a field, highlight the field and the description will appear in the section to the right. The check entry fields, 1 through 7, will add fields to the add check screen. Select 1. Need check numbers, 3, need state withholding, and 6, need hours worked. Once the selections are made, select the checks and vouchers tab. These preferences affect the checks and vouchers. The enable check print preview preference will allow the checks to be previewed on the screen prior to printing. The check type can be selected on the screen. To preview all the various check types, first, Make sure that one check has been entered, select Preview All Check Types at once, and click the Preview button. Click the Miscellaneous tab. The Miscellaneous Preferences are for various aspects of the payroll program. Select any preferences that are applicable for the pair. Click the Input and Print tab. Various input and or print commands can be set up using these preferences. At the bottom of these preferences, the input print and check print order can be designated. The start day of the week can also be selected on the screen. Select the tax exempt tab. The tax exempt preferences will exempt all employees and the pair from a particular tax. Click the state and local tab at the top of the screen. This is the state and local screen. It is used to set up the state and local information for the pair, such as the state withholding method, unemployment rates and any local withholdings. It is used to enter in the pair rates and employee or extra rates as needed. Rates are entered as a percentage, not a decimal value. If used default max wages, rates is checked, the program will automatically update the max wages and rates for the state. If it is not checked, the user will be responsible for updating that information. This is the local section. It is used to set up local withholdings if applicable for the current state. To set up a local, double click or click the box on the first blank line. Enter the local information and select the withholding method. For the purposes of the tutorial, there are no locals to set up. Click OK to continue. Click the User Defined Fields tab. The User Defined Fields screen allows up to 40 fields to be set up in order to list custom payroll items. These fields provide for special deductions and tax exempt items. Fields set up on this screen will appear on the Check Edit screens. The Add Field button is used to set up and define the fields. The Add Field button is used to manually set up a field or to select a predefined field. For the purposes of the tutorial, the miscellaneous compensation and 401k fields have been set up. For more information on setting up user defined fields, please refer to the help files within the program. Click the Miscellaneous tab. The Miscellaneous screen is mainly used for reference purposes only. Certain fields, such as, phone and email are required for e-filing purposes. The declining, inclining balances can be used to track user-defined fields balances. Click Memo to continue. The Memo command is used to enter notes regarding the selected payer. These notes are for reference purposes only. This is just a general text editor. Click the Check Nicker tab. This screen is used to set up and or edit the check information. The maker checks, the signature and or logo locations, and or check number settings can be defined. Enter the information as needed. Click the ACA tab to continue. The ACA screen is used to set up or enter the ACA information. Select the correct ACA form for the payer and enter the information as needed. When finished, click OK, 
which will save the edits for the pair screens. That is the basic pair setup. Your settings will vary depending on the situation. For more information on any of the pair settings, please refer to the help file within the program. For information on the employee setup, please review the employee setup tutorial. For further assistance, please review the frequently asked questions on our website. Or please refer to the help files for additional information. Technical support can be reached by email, fax, chat or phone. Thank you for using the 1099 etc. program. Have a great day.